if you're here, it's probably because you're a Glengal fan. Yeah, yeah. Every, all the recordings we did were made here. Amazing. And, but the piano was down there. Somebody said, hey, you mean you said no to Glengal? And I said, yes. The places where Glen lived and worked, including his childhood home, the famous apartment of St. Clair Avenue, and many other specials. Anything that represents Glengold, anything that uses his name, we control. We hope this documentary will be able to add more pieces to the history of life and work of one of the greatest pianists of the 20th century. And I went up to him, and I'm not shy, and I said, what are you doing here? You're my hero. And of course, with every year, with every passing year, that his posthumous life gets bigger and bigger, and so there's this whole industry around him now. So we have a scoop, we have a scoop. We have the news. <laughs> we have a, well, yes, then I would have a trilogy, and then maybe you could have all three books in a, in like, a box and set. And <laughs> Glen Gould and McLuhan are part of a school of thought dubbed the Toronto School. They shared and breathed the same intellectual climate, the same intellectual air. So as I said, one of my favorite documentary, Glenn Gould, Toronto from 1979. But how did you meet Glenn and uh, how was the process? Well, Glenn Gould was already a phenomenon. I met him over the telephone uh, a few years earlier while I was at the CBC, the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. If you're here, it's probably because you're a Glenn Gould fan. Mm -hmm.